What up, what up, what up, everybody? It's your boy Val Dis Richardson, aka Brent, and welcome to Brent's Porch. It's been quite some time since I've made a video, but I'm back. Fall time's here. Got my sweatshirts on, got my B hats on. And I think the reason why I'm back today is because sometimes you just got shit on your mind that you need to talk about. So Somebody please tell me what the hell is going on in Texas. First, you got to be careful of going outside and being killed by the police. And now you got to be careful of being in your home and getting killed by the police. It's ridiculous. Uh, both in Jean, uh, Antonita, I hope I got her name right, Jefferson, the latest person to be killed by the police. And this is weird because with her, her neighbor called the police to do a welfare check because they noticed her door was open. And they just wanted the police to come by and check and to make sure that she was okay. Now, the police got there, I figured they rummaging around in her backyard while she's in the house playing video games with her nephew. So her eight-year-old nephew. So they're rummaging around in her yard. She goes to the window to see what's going on. And within four seconds, she's killed by the police who didn't even identify himself as a police officer. He shot her through the window at her house with her eight-year-old nephew nearby. I, you know, I just honestly don't understand what type of training these police are getting. I understand that being a police, it's got to be a difficult job. You deal with a lot of different people, different elements. You deal with a lot of situations. But these people are pulling the trigger before... She didn't, in four seconds, she pretty much trying to figure out what the hell is going on in her backyard. Who are you and why are you in my backyard? And your coward ass shoot her through the window. Through her damn window. That cop, his name was, uh, what was his name? Aaron Dean. He was a coward. He should have never been a cop. If you're that scared, you should not be a police officer. I wouldn't even justify them as peace officer because they never de-escalate the situation. Every situation they get into, they make it worse than it has to be. Coward. It's, it's getting ridiculous. It is just totally getting ridiculous. This woman was obviously somebody's sister. She might have been somebody's wife maybe somebody's girlfriend somebody's mother probably who i don't i really don't know but i know she was definitely somebody's daughter she was somebody's somebody who was killed for no reason for no reason the situation is really simple the cops could have came and saw it open knocked on the door boom 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 police police is everything okay in here I noticed your door was open. Nobody's dead. Don't rummage around in my backyard and then shoot me through my freaking window. Who does that? What what what, what type of what what class do you go through? What, what? I, I don't even understand. I, I can't even wrap my mind around this. And let's not even get on. Amber Geyer, oh, while well, she killed Mr. Jean in his house while he's eating ice cream. Now, if she busted him in his door, I'm pretty sure he startled. Hey, what are you doing in my house? What? Boom. Really? Really? Her excuse was she thought that she was in her house. Now, I know Police are trained to notice things. Visual cues they're trained to pick up on. So not one time did she not pick up on that damn red rug in front of that house, in front of that door 
they make her know that, oh shoot, this ain't my house. I don't have a red rug in front of my house. Bull crap. It's all bull crap. And it's ridiculous. You know, and some people are saying, well, it's a win. She got 10 years. No, no, no. There's no winners in this situation. Gene is dead. The legal system is definitely screwed because she only got 10 years. The judge. <sighs> she got. I, we're going to judge thing later. But she got 10 years for murder. But she's going to probably do five, maybe seven. And, you know, she'll be kept away from everything or everybody. And then she get out. She can reset her life. And it's going to be a lot easier for her to reset her life because of the skin that she's in. Let's just be 100. Let's be 100 with it. Let's just be 100. It'll be easier for her to reset her life. She might end up with a, with a dude that's making big money or making a decent amount of money. And she live her life happy ever after. Some happy homemaker in her house somewhere while this family is broken because she killed somebody's son. Mr. Gene. John, sorry. <sighs> now, let's talk about this judge and the bailiff and the brother. You know, I wonder would any any of this compassion have been poured out toward her? If she was a black woman. Would that judge have came down off that stand. And gave her a hug and say. Everything's going to be alright. You can do this. Would that bailiff have been, have been stroking her hair. And patting her and comforting her while she's sitting there. Would that brother. Would have been begging. To give her a hug. If. She was a black woman. I seriously doubt it. Seriously doubt it. You know, as a black man, I don't think there's anything I could do in my life that'll get me that much sympathy and compassion that these black people poured onto this white murderer. I'm going to call it the way it is. If you don't like it, you don't like it. I'm just stating facts. She's a murderer. Even the jury. I saw a video of some black woman in the jury talking about I felt so bad for her because she was definitely uh, uh, sorry for what she did. But, yeah, maybe. But as you did talk about the text message that she that she was passing out with her colleagues, she had a racial bias. So why are you even? Why do you even care? Why? And I think throughout history. African Americans are taught to be compassionate and sympathetic toward white people, but don't offer that same compassion towards your sisters and brothers. You would let your sister and brother sit in that seat and rot and cry and snot all day long and not give a damn how sorry they was for what they did. Not give a damn. That judge would have not got off that damn bench and gave a black woman a hug and a Bible and say everything will be okay. That bailiff would not have been rubbing that woman's back. Letting her know everything's fine. I just, in my heart, don't believe that that would have happened. At all. It wouldn't have happened. I done learned a lot. I got a 